So I assume the next thing to, on our to-do list is to head over to Fist. Well, let's not waste any time. Well, a gentleman's club in the ward. Uh huh, gentleman indeed. Okay, uh, weapons out. I guess I'm still best of my of my pistol, huh? Let me let me let me check out my my abilities here. I've got a new one. Throw neural shock. Yeah, let's add that. I don't know about this this one. We'll have to try and use our squad skills, but... I'll have uh, Garrus... Oh uh, no, uh, he's not good with that. So, Garrus... Why don't you go with the Avenger? I want a mix of weaponry. Okay. I guess that's the best we can do. Uh-huh. I really don't know about how this cover thing works. Okay, get out of cover. Get out of cover. Okay, I really don't like how that works. Dang it. Okay. Uh, get, don't get in my way. Don't get in my way. This is not a survival trait. Okay, right there. Krogan Bouncer. That's a guy. Okay. I guess I could tell my the rest of my squad to do stuff. They're 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 hanging back, aren't they? Probably for the best. Locked and loaded. Locked and loaded. Okay, I can do that at quite a range. Shoot him while he's down, don't wait. Good job. There's a guy up there, isn't there? Yeah. I'm on it! Oh, I can't use that yet. Okay, got him. Alright. There's a thug there. Come on, come on out. Can you use that one right now? He doesn't want to pop out. These guys. I'm on it. Well, let me go on the opposite side of this wall. I'm on it. I don't think that's the best it. tactic. Oh, shoot. Okay. 
I'm gonna need a lot more medigel. Okay, let's it. use that one on him. No, that didn't work. I'm on it. What are you shooting at? Come on. Ah. I'm on it. I'm on it. I'm on it. Locked and loaded. Perimeter clear. Okay, moving right along. Stop right there. Don't come any closer. Hmm. Warehouse workers. All the real guards must be dead. Stay back or we'll shoot. I think I can intimidate them, right? I mean, this is intimidating them, right? I just killed 50 bodyguards to get in here. What do you think I'll do to you? Uh, well, uh, uh screw Fist. He doesn't pay us enough for this. Good call. I never thought of that. Shooting people isn't always the answer. Ashley would say that. Yeah, right. <sighs> renegade? That gives me Renegade? I just saved those guys' lives. Sheesh. I think that'd give me Paragon or something. Oh, dang it. I hate this minigame. There we go. All right, let's say we do some upgrades before we move on. Uh, Banshee looks like better, but I don't use an assault rifle. You do, don't you? Yeah, let's give you the Banshee. Okay, it does give that option to transfer upgrades. Okay. And you can have the adventure. More importantly, you... that yeah I think well accuracy is way worse huh but yeah I want you to have the sniper rifle I'll I'll take the other Reaper not that I've been using sniper rifles nor is my accuracy particularly good All right, let's just move on. F5. Okay. Turrets. Oh, we got an extra mini gel somehow. This whole thing, hold on. Okay, I hold on, hold on. <laughs> All right. Wait, don't kill me, I surrender. All right, well, yeah, uh. Start talking. Tell me where the Quarian is, and I won't have to shoot you in the kneecaps. Kneecaps? She's not here. I don't know where she is. That's the truth. He's lying. Hmm. Yeah. You got three seconds to come clean. Yeah. Then I start shooting. The Quarian isn't here. Said she'd only deal with the Shadow Broker himself. Impossible. The Shadow Broker only works through his agents. Nobody meets the Shadow Broker, ever. Even I don't know his true identity. But she didn't know that. I told her I'd set a meeting up. But when she shows up, it'll be Saren's men waiting for her. Uh, yeah, that's Tell pretty me bad. Where that meeting is before I blow your lying head off. Here on the wards, the back alley by the markets. She's supposed to meet them right now. You can make it if you hurry. Uh, hmm. Well, let's hurry then. This guy might be useful in the future. There's no time to waste. Come on. 
Don't worry, you'll never see me again. I know, I was hoping to make use of you, actually, but it's alright. Word safe? What? I saw the word safe at some point. Wall safe, yeah. Oh, here we go again. Ah. I wonder why I'm so bad at that. Okay, so... Back alley time. Whoa, 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 whoa. You guys again? Ah, can't quick save. Alright. I should have killed that, uh... That guy. Definitely should have killed that guy. That fist. Probably told these guys to kill us anyway. Oh, dang it, we have to get her in 2 minutes and 40 seconds? I don't even know the right way. Sprint, sprint, sprint. Jeez, Louise. Lower markets. Where are we supposed to go? Well. Is it uh, here? Uh, this looks dangerous, yeah. I, I vaguely recall something over here, but... Oh yes, assassin, right. Did you bring it? Where's the shadow broker? Where's Fist? They'll be here. Where's the evidence? No way. The deal's off. Tali! Okay. Wow, explosives and everything. Oh, dang it, overheated permanently? It's stuck overheated? Um, switch weapons. Oh, that's not working out. How about if I throw him? I don't have training for this. I'm not getting anything done. My powers don't work either. He's pretty well... Okay, take this. Oh uh, man, I, uh, he's stuck. He's glitched. Looks like a sitting duck to me. Oh no, he's doing other stuff. Huh. I thought he was glitched, but apparently not. Okay. Just set me up. I knew I couldn't trust him. Well, apparently not. You actually didn't know that. Okay, uh Well, let's not go straight. Give me the evidence. Come on. Were you hurt in the fight? I know how to look after myself. Not that I don't appreciate the help. Who are you? My name's Shepard. I'm looking for evidence to prove Saren's a traitor. Then I have a chance to repay you for saving my life. But not here. We need to go somewhere safe. It's better to tell me now, just in case one of us gets killed in the next few minutes. But alright, that was some weird music. I mean, overly dramatic music. You're not making my life easy, Shepard. Really? This is why I don't like the guy. Assault on Cora's den. Do you know how many? Who's this? The Quarian? What are you up to, Shepard? Ah, uh, yeah, I, I, I really don't like the ambassador. This Quarian can help us bring down Saren. That's not why I wanted you to say. Jump down my throat. 
I apologize, Commander. This whole thing with Saren has me a bit on edge. Maybe we should just start at the beginning, Miss... My name is Tali. Tali Zora Naraya. We don't see many Quarians here. Why did you leave the flotilla? I was on my pilgrimage. My rite of passage into adulthood. Uh... Alright, I think she'd be curious enough. I've never heard of this before. It is a tradition among my people. When we reach maturity, we leave the ships of our parents and our people behind. Alone, we search the stars, only returning to the flotilla once we have discovered something of value. In this way, we prove ourselves worthy of adulthood. Yeah, what's this something what of value? What kinds of things do you look for? It could be resources like food or fuel, or some type of useful technology, or even knowledge that will make life easier on the flotilla. Through our pilgrimage, we prove that we will contribute to the community, rather than being a burden on our limited resources. Good policy. Now, what about Saren? What kind of evidence did you find? How'd you get it? During my travels, I began hearing reports of Geth. Since they drove my people into exile, the Geth have never ventured beyond the Vale. I was curious. Ah, good motivation. I tracked a patrol of Geth to an uncharted world. I waited for one to become separated from its unit. Then I disabled it and removed its memory core. I thought the Geth fried their memory cores when they died. Some kind of defense mechanism. All right, then. What did you find out? Most of the core was wiped clean. I'm but not I entirely sure I trust Captain An Anderson's knowledge about anything, so it's fine. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. Beacon, conduit. That's oh, okay. Place. This proves he was involved in the attack. What's the conduit? He said Eden Prime brought him one step closer to finding the conduit. Any idea what that means? The conduit must have something to do with the beacon. No kidding. Maybe no some kind kidding. of Prothean technology. Like a weapon. Jumping to conclusions. Wait, there's but more. Logical. Saturn wasn't working alone. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. The Reapers? I don't recognize that other voice, the one talking about Reapers. Reapers sounds familiar from a lot of different things. I feel like I've heard that name before. According to the Memory Core, the Reapers were a hyper-advanced machine race that existed 50,000 years ago. The Reapers hunted the Protheans to total extinction, and then they vanished. At least, that's what the Geth believe. What the Sounds Geth believe? Far -fetched. I didn't know the Geth were in a position to believe stuff. They're, uh, yeah. Interesting. A little bit more complicated bunch than I thought. Alright, uh... She's right. I'm not in a position to say she's right or it's true. It's not far-fetched, though. A vision on Eden Prime. I understand it now. I saw the Protheans being wiped out by the Reapers. That's jumping to conclusions, the too, Geth but yeah, maybe she knew. Maybe, maybe it's reasonable. The pinnacle of non-organic life. And they believe Saren knows how to bring the Reapers back. The Council is just going to love this. Well... First blush, I think, don't tell them is probably going too far, yeah. Will they believe it? I think we know that they're going to be hesitant on that. I don't think she's that silly. But they need to know. The Reapers are a threat to every species in Citadel space. We have to tell them. No matter what they think about the rest of this, those audiophiles prove Saren's a traitor. Proof. Proof the is a right. strong we word. We need to present this to the Council right away. What about her, the Quarian? My name is Tali. Indeed it is. You saw me in the alley, Commander. You know what I can do. Let me come with you. Alright, well, uh, we probably got more shots off than I did. Alright. I'll take all the help I can get. Thanks. You won't regret this. Anderson and I will go ahead to get things ready with the Council. Take a few minutes to collect yourself, then meet us in the tower. Okay, so now Tali is our techie. 
we don't have a full biotic. Got Ashley as our combat. I've got the only biotic ability, and I've also got half tech. Eh, this is all right. Garrus, Garrus, we we de definitely don't want Garrus talking to anybody about Saren. They, they already uh, they already know how he is about it. So this will be a good squad. Just the girls, apparently. All right. Which way do we go? Oh yeah, there's the other ambassadorial quarters. So checking our journal. Expose Saren. Return to the tower. Simple enough. Excuse me, Commander Shepard. Could you spare a moment of your time? Well, since you ask politely. Commander Shepard, my name is Samesh Bhatia. Forgive the intrusion, but I have nowhere else to turn. I'm listening. What do you need? That's not my what I said. My wife a Marine. She was in the 212 on Eden Prime. Wait, the 212? Your wife was serviceman Narali Bhatia. I'm Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams. I served in her unit. Chief Williams, it is a pleasure. Nirali spoke of you with great respect. I'm so sorry for your loss, Mr. Bhatia. Nirali was a good woman. What can we do for you? I've requested that my wife's body be returned to me for cremation, but the military has refused my request. Uh, did they say why? Why did they refuse your request? There's got to be some reason. I don't know. All I know is that they have declared it impossible for my wife to be returned to me. Alright, I'll find out. We'll look into it. The man in charge of my case is Mr. Bosker. When I last saw him, he was in the expensive bar over there. Thank you for your time. I just want to give my wife a proper funeral. And the respect she deserves. Alright, well, uh, the bar over there, huh? Doesn't seem like that'll take us too long, right? Embassy lounge? Yeah, sure. Let, let's, let's head on over there. Uh, I know they're waiting for us in the tower, but, you know. This shouldn't take too long. Diplomats. Bosker, right. My goodness, your Commander Shepard. Word your carries around, huh? Quite a briefing in the diplomatic corps. Is there something I can do to assist you? Uh, I hope so. I'm here on behalf of Samesh Bhatia for his wife Nirali. Serviceman Nirali Bhatia died on Eden Prime, as Mr. Bhatia no doubt told you. Right. Her wounds are inconsistent with any type of weapon damage we've seen before. That is why her body is being held. You're studying her injuries to learn more about Geth weaponry. The tests we're conducting may lead to better defenses against Geth attacks. Okay. Respectfully, Serviceman Bhatia may save more lives in death than she did in life. Yeah, well, can we, uh, can we tell Shamesh this? I'll tell Samesh. Next time you cut up a dead soldier, at least tell her husband the truth. That was just the reaction we were hoping to avoid, Commander. But if you think it will help, tell Mr. Bhatia the truth. Perhaps he will understand. Please let me know if you have any Wait, other questions. Wait, I mean, he, he needs the body for cremation. Um, can't he cremate it after you guys do your thing? I mean... I don't think there's any requirement that the body be pristine prior to cremation, is there? I'm not sure. Hmm. Executor Palin. So this is the executor guy that they've been talking about. I probably shouldn't be talking to him. Where am I? Hello, Commander. Has any progress been made with Mr. Bosker? Will he return my wife's body? They're running medical studies on Nirali. That's why they won't release the body. Tests? They're holding my wife's body for tests? My wife served the Alliance faithfully. She gave her life for humanity. And this is how they repay her. Hmm. 
I guess I can do the this is war thing. Just try the this is oh well, I can't do the this is important because I can't charm people. Samesh, right now more people are going to die unless the military runs those tests. Damn this straight. isn't about them. This is about my wife, the woman the military killed. I feel that didn't work. But uh, uh, military killed. I I take yeah, I take uh, umbrage at that. The Geth killed your wife, and they will kill a lot more if we don't run those tests. Yeah. I think I've not given enough. Don't speak to me of duty. My wife is dead. Okay. Yes, she is, Mr. Batia. She died fighting. We should be able to get you the body did. back after they do those she tests. She sacrificed her life to keep you safe. I think she'd want to make the most of that sacrifice. You're right, Miss Williams. She would not flinch from her duty. Let them run their tests. Let my wife save lives so that others are spared the loss I feel today. Goodbye. Thank you for finding me answers. Alright. Well, I guess that's the best we can do. Alright. Proceeding to the Citadel Tower. Here we go. This is our big moment. Nope. Probably the wrong way. Probably should be going up, not down. Funny how sprint doesn't work in this mode. No, oh, I have to... Udin is presenting the Quarian's evidence to Man, the we shouldn't have you here. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. You wanted proof? There it is. This evidence is irrefutable, Ambassador. Saren will be stripped of his wow. spectre status, That's and all impressive. efforts will be made to bring him in to I answer for his crimes. I didn't think the evidence would be irrefutable. I recognize the other voice, the one speaking with Saren. Matriarch Benezia. Uh, who? Who is she? Matriarchs are powerful Asari who have entered the final stage of their lives. Revered for their wisdom and experience, they serve as guides and mentors to my people. Matriarch Benezia is a powerful biotic, and she had many followers. She will make a formidable ally for Saren. I'm more Don't interested sound too in pleased leaders. about that. What do you know about them? Only what was extracted from the Geth's memory core. The Reapers were an ancient race of machines that wiped out the Protheans. Then they vanished. Well, uh, yeah, I think it's safe to say now that uh, Saren's bringing them back. The Geth believe the Reapers are gods, and Saren is the prophet for their return. We think the conduit is the key to bringing them back. Saren's searching for it. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Do we even know what this conduit is? Ah, uh, it's trouble. Saren thinks it can bring back the Reapers. That's bad enough. Listen to what you're saying. Saren wants to bring back the machines that wiped out all life in the galaxy? Impossible. It has to be. Where did the Reapers go? Why did they vanish? How come we found no trace of their existence? If they were real, we'd have found something. Okay, yeah, but but I think we need an insurance policy here. I mean, after all, if we think that there is a chance, we should probably plan for it, right? I'm not gonna say the Reapers are real. That's a, and don't be a fool is not a way to convince somebody. But I guess my best option is you died me before. I tried to warn you about Saren, and you refused to face the truth. Don't make the same mistake again. This is different. I thought I had made her eyes you grayer, but, the oh well. Council. We all agree he's using the Geth to search for the conduit, but we don't really know why. The Reapers are obviously just a myth, Commander. Not obviously. A convenient lie to cover Saren's true purpose. A legend he is using to bend the Geth to his will. <sighs> I really, uh, you know, uh, at some point you just have to accept they're not going to listen to you, but alright. Uh, yeah, th that sounds a little bit crazed. You're wrong is a little bit... Uh, let's go with this. years ago, the Reapers wiped oh, out all boy. galactic Here she civilization. Goes. If Saren finds the conduit, it will happen again. 
CERN is a rogue agent on the run for his life. He no longer has the rights or resources of a Spectre. The Council has stripped him of his position. That is not good enough. You know he's hiding somewhere in the Traverse. Send your fleet in! A fleet cannot track down one man. A Citadel fleet could secure the entire region, keep the Geth from attacking any more of our colonies. Or it could trigger a war with the Terminus systems. We won't be dragged into a galactic confrontation over a few dozen human colonies. Hmm, yeah, uh, alright, you guys don't want to go? I'm interested in these Terminus systems. Yeah, uh, uh, just send me. I can take Saren down. The commander's right. There is a way to stop Saren that doesn't require fleets or armies. No, it's too soon. Oh, Humanity give me a break. Is not ready for the responsibilities that come with joining the Spectres. You said irrefutable evidence, darn it. I got that for you. It's the best solution. You don't have to send a fleet into the Traverse, and the Ambassador gets his human Spectre. Everybody's happy. Commander Shepard, step forward. Spectre time. <laughs> they make it way dramatic. All these people are suddenly watching. All these people, I say, seven so far. It is the decision of the Council that you be granted all the powers and privileges of the Special Tactics and Reconnaissance Branch of the Citadel. Spectres are not trained, but chosen. Individuals forged in the fire of service and battle. Those whose actions elevate them above the rank of... I could do with some training, though, Spectres honestly. Spectres are an ideal, a symbol, the embodiment of courage, determination, and self-reliance. They are the right hand of the Council, instruments of our will. Don't like the sound of that Spectres particularly. Spectres bear a great burden. They are protectors of galactic peace, both our first and last line of defense. The safety of the galaxy is theirs to uphold. You are the first human Spectre commander. Wait, wait, wait. What about what about the? I thought they said the captain was right. Th didn't they say the captain was a Spectre? Or, or maybe he was just a Spectre candidate? Uh, okay, uh, what happens now? What's my first mission? We're sending you into the Traverse after Saren. He's That's why I want to hear. So you are authorized to use any means necessary to apprehend or eliminate him. Any leads? Any idea where to find him? We will forward any relevant files to Ambassador Udina. This meeting of the Council is adjourned. Okay. Congratulations, Commander. We've got a lot of work to do, Shepard. You're going to need a ship, a crew, supplies. You'll get access to special equipment and training now. You should go down to the CSEC Academy and speak to the Spectre Requisitions Officer. Anderson, come with me. I'll need your help to set all this up. I thought the Ambassador would be a little more grateful. He didn't even thank you. Figures. What do you expect from a politician? No, no, no. Come on. <laughs> God's sakes. Right behind you, Commander. He, first of all, he's a diplomat. It's a sort of different thing. Uh, these guys in there, uh, straight up just... Well, somebody was uh, took a dim view of politics in this. Guess that's a popular thing these days. But really, no, he, it's not because he's a politician. It's because he's an asshole. I mean, it's just all right. I'm on a break. Okay. Talk to someone else if you need anything. I've got a lot on my mind. Do I have to? Well, all right. I, I do like my side quests. Maybe I can help. Hmm. Well, maybe you can. You're a soldier, right? You ever head out to the Traverse? As it so happens, uh, I'm, I'm going to be heading out right now. Maybe you've heard of me. I'm not just some soldier. I'm a Spectre. No, that's not what I wanted to say. A Spectre? I heard they were thinking about letting humans into the ranks. About time. Well, that means you can go anywhere you want, right? Even out into the Traverse? That's, in My fact, the plan. My the captain of a ship called the Majesty. It was crossing the Traverse a few days ago when it disappeared just dropped right off the grid. And that usually means one of two things. 
they had massive mechanical failure, or they were attacked. Those are both bad. Neither one of those options leaves a lot of hope. I won't give up on my brother. Not yet. I've got the coordinates for the last transmission from his vessel. All right, I'll see what I give can me do. The coordinates. I'll forward them to your ship right away. Please let me know as soon as you find them. Got it. Okay. All right, I think I'll uh, conclude it here and pick this up next time. This has probably already ended up to be two episodes. All right, so I'll say thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.